it's very challenging to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. I know I need to do it, yet leave me alone. No, I don't want to do it. So what do we do? What are those things that, that cause us to do like that? I think that among the things that prevent us from acting is the fear of failure. And if you've already failed, you don't want to fail again. The pain of that, the disappointment, the fear of loss is another thing. Because many times when we do those things that we know we need to do, we feel that we might lose somebody that we love very much and care about. We don't want to hurt anybody. Many of us don't act because we want other people's approval. We want everybody to like us and to accept us. And that's not possible. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. I have a friend who's been working on a job where she's miserable, talented, want to go to another place that she can do what she wants to do and make the kind of money that she would like to make and had, had some offers. But because of her fear and her lack of self-confidence of things might not work out, she won't take a chance on herself. So there she is spending eight hours a day, five days a week and she's miserable. She hates to go to work. They're not paying her what she's worth, she knows it. But yet and still, she won't do that which she knows she must do, and it's wearing her out. There are a lot of people that their jobs are making them sick because they won't act. You check out the absenteeism and the people that are depressed. You see them coming to work angry. How are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Just leave me alone. It's not even nine o'clock yet. You're talking about good morning. There are days you go to work, you want to just keep driving past the job, you know? You don't want to stop because it's not in sync with who you are. There are many reasons why we don't act. There are other things, though, that affect us. It's that not wanting to take personal responsibility. We want somebody else to do it. And we, many times, we pick up our inability to do certain things from people that we love people that we admire, we identify with them, and we live in the context of their ideas, their opinions, and their life patterns. In order for them to act in their own best interest, some people have to hit rock bottom in order to rise. I don't know why. You want to begin to look out on your life and what you want for you. And I think that when we begin to focus in the area of what does it take for us to act, I think we can say events can inspire us to act, like that particular event in his life. Circumstances, a friend of mine, he wanted to do something and, and he just did not have the motivation and the drive and the confidence within himself. But his circumstances change overnight through an acquisition of the company that he worked for. He lost his job through the inspiration of desperation. He had to act. See, life also are things that can inspire us to act. See, we don't have the courage, and that's what it takes, courage. It takes guts to do that which you know you need to do. If you don't have the courage to act, life many times will move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt so bad. <laughs> you will be so miserable. You will catch so much hell. You say, yes, Lord. I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. I had a confrontation in the Penobscot building with the security guard there. He responded to me what I perceived as a negative way. And he and I engaged in an argument. I did not like the way I handled that. I avoided going through the front door for a long time because I didn't want to face him. Finally, I decided to act and I went up to him and said, I want to apologize to you for the way in which I handled this argument we had the other day. I was wrong. I hope you accept my apology. He said, I do. 
And I said, thank you very much. I felt relieved. Now, when you decide to act, it's not always going to be like that. And so what I'm saying to you is that as you begin to look out on your life, this is challenging. This is not easy, acting. So what are the things that we can begin to do to harness our will? Number one, you've got to bring it out and look at it. You've got to take the power out of it. You've got to expose it to the truth. And the truth is that it has no power over you. So write down something you want to act on, but for some reason that you've been holding back and look at it. Ask yourself the question, is it helping you to continue to put it off? If it's an asset for you to continue to, to procrastinate, then continue to do that. But if it's a liability for you, if it's causing you some mental and some emotional challenges or perhaps a financial problem, look at that. <coughs> Examine that for what it is. Ask yourself, what's blocking you? What's preventing you from acting? Why don't you have the courage to handle that? Why won't you face that? What are you running away from? What kind of avoidance behavior are you engaged in? What is the worst thing that can happen when you take action? I want you to visualize that, experience that, feel the nervousness and the discomfort. And the more you run it in your mind, the less power that it will have. How will you feel after taking this action? When we look out on our lives, you ask the question, what are you going to do? Look at, as you think about this that you know you need to handle, what are you going to do? And then write down three strong reasons on why you know you must take action. And be explicit and descriptive in your reasons because your reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. And what you will find, that when you decide to act, when you decide to take life on, and let me warn you, it can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're uncomfortable, when you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you will have some power from on high. You will discover some things about yourself that will begin to electrify your personality. You'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got. 